This time I have a matching holster, belt, and belt slide set for a Smith & Wesson 686. That's my blue gun there. Y'all have seen this before. And uh, for the holster, I already had a pattern. So I just went ahead and used that, cut out the leather and the welt. And I've already got the, uh, the welt glued on. The weather's been, the weather, the leather's been wet and it's been folded over. It's all going to be dyed black. The belt, the straps have been cut, glued together. The buckle ends already been taken care of. Let me see if I can find the buckle here. There it is. That's the buckle that's going on it. It's a heavy duty stainless steel buckle. That's a lot like my buckle, except it's just a little bit bigger. It's going to be a massive belt when I'm done. It's all going to be black with white stitching. This is two, two layers of nine ounce and they've been glued together. Um, I've got the edges beveled and the stitch grooves cut. And also one little detail that I do on my belt is I take and um, where the inner layer meets the outer layer, I skive it down so it's more of a smooth transition in instead of like a, a hard cut. It, it just it blends in and, and I, I like it better that way. Um, I'm going to use nickel plated uh, Chicago screws on here. I'm going to go ahead and wet this and fold it over. And like I said, it's going to be black. Now one thing I've learned is when you're doing a double layer belt to dye this part before you glue it together. Because sometimes it could still bend back a little bit and you'll see a little bit of undyed leather and that's unsightly. Got the end cut and I got the other end cut. I use punches. I'm going to dig my punch out for you. This one I leave in the package because I don't use it that much. It's a one and three quarter inch punch. And it, it just makes beautiful strap ends to your belts. If you make a fair amount of belts, it's worth it. I have another one that's an inch and a half and um, that one's more commonly used than this one. So this one just stays in his little package. He comes out and plays every now and then. But basically, it just stays in my toolbox in the bottom. And the inch and a half is the one I use mostly. Okay, the next step on this guy is to punch the stitch holes. That's going to take about a forever and a day. And uh, if y'all have watched my other videos, you've seen me do this. Yeah. I just use my punch and my mallet. And just punch, 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 punch. Bang the holes in it. Right now, though, I want to do a little work on the holster. Sounds like I dropped a coin. I don't have any coins. <laughs> I'm going to take my chisel with this nice, sharp, straight edge. And I'm going to cut that little bit of extra uh, welt out of there. Just take that. Put it right on there and give it a push. And that just whacked it right off. Now after this is glued, after this is dyed and glued, then I'm going to go ahead and take it out to the garage and sand it. And we'll get back to that. But first, um, 
I gotta do some work on it before I get to that point. So, I'll get back to you when I get a little bit more work done.